Hey YouTube, today we're getting sexy. Sexy. That's all because of this. Oh yeah. I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis and it's Christmas time. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that that probably means I'm gonna be getting around to doing a flashlight review video for Through Night, but this isn't gonna be any normal flashlight review video. We're gonna be spicing it up. We're taking it up to the next level. First off, we're doing it here in the pantry. Oh. It's a spicier environment, kind of a sexier environment. What happens in the pantry stays in the pantry, baby. Oh. So let's get to the video. Why do I keep doing videos about flashlights made by Through Night? I do. Well, I started off my channel and I would do uh, video reviews of products from lots of different companies, but Through Night is the only company that keeps coming back to me. Is it because I only give them positive reviews? No. It's because they're the only company that comes back even though I don't always give them positive reviews. Other companies, if you say anything that negative about any of their products, they you know turn tail and run. They never contact you again. Through Night's different. And that I have a great deal of respect for their company because of that. When I have uh, done reviews and I've critiqued parts of their product, they take that as a challenge to do better. And I have done some negative reviews of a couple of their products in the past. I think that's a company you want to uh, stick around with because those products are going to have a lot of integrity. And these are some pretty good flashlights. I do have some problems with them. I'm going to share the problems that I have with these flashlights. Now, I mean, they're, they're not huge, but these are just kind of like peccadillos that I have with these. Now, like I said, uh, Archer Pro, Archer Pro Mini. Archer Pro is big, Archer Pro Mini, uh, I'm sorry, just Archer Mini is smaller. They're both pretty small flashlights. They're both pretty bright flashlights. Uh, they, they have slightly different features. <laughs> I'm trying to do them both at the same time. Um, the basic way that through night flashlights work is that uh, you'll turn them on and what you'll do is you'll hold the button down and they'll kind of go through different illumination settings. When it's flashing, it's saying I'm at the brightest. I'm still holding down the button. It's getting dimmer and dimmer. It's flashing, letting you know it's at the dimmest setting and then it'll kind of go back up again. They also have uh, a turbo mode where you double click and it goes into the highest setting. That's the way all their flashlights pretty much work is they have those basic functions. They also have strobe functions uh, frequently. So I don't want to get into the specifics of each of these flashlights, but I do want to say that these are both made with a great deal of quality and care from the manufacturer. Through Night has been a company, like I've said, that I've worked with for a while. They always take uh, criti uh, criticisms and critiques and they make their next version of their products better. These have a, a fair degree of water um, uh, tolerance that they can get wet. They really upped their game with these guys. Uh, the way that you charge these is you kind of screw down the uh, the front around where the, the lamp is and there's a USB-C uh, port right there and there's a gasket all around here. So you can charge it and then you screw this back up and it makes a really firm connection. So that is an example of Through Night listening to the feedback that they've been getting on some of their other uh, flashlights and they really took it to the next level on this. And maybe, Maybe they took it a little too far. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, one thing about these flashlights that I'm not super keen on, uh, it has nothing to do with their performance. Their performance is great. You know, they turn on, you know, they're, they're water uh, um, protected and all that kind of stuff. But they have batteries that are built in and you can't change the batteries out of these. I don't know, maybe you can kind of like crack into them and like kind of MacGyver your way in and you could change the battery. I'm sure that would be possible, but they're not made to easily remove the batteries and change it. Now, I'm sure that gave them some extra ability to be kind of like watertight because, you know, there's less ways of getting in there. So if there's less ways of you getting in there, there's less ways of water getting in there. But I think that's kind of a downside because batteries have a certain amount of life and the idea that the bat once the battery dies, the flashlight is kind of dead too. Now, maybe they would let you send these back in and they'd replace the battery for some kind of a nominal charge or something like that. You know, maybe that's possible, but still it's like, it's a lot easier to be able to change your own battery. So I'm not super keen on that. In fact, a lot of flashlights that don't run off of standard batteries that are easy to get in the store, I'm usually a little bit bearish about. Um, I've kind of come around to the 18650 batteries uh, because those are starting to be in more common use. Uh, when they first started coming out and a lot of flashlights were using those 18650 lithium uh, batteries, I wasn't that uh, big of a fan of them because it wasn't that easy to source the 18650 batteries for replacement. I was a big fan of like AA batteries, AAA batteries, because you can kind of get those things anywhere. You get uh, rechargeable versions of them. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the idea that if something breaks in something, it's easy for the user themselves to swap that out 
out, it's modular, you can get a, a replacement in there, and then you can get yourself going again. So the fact that the batteries are built into this and you can't easily just kind of replace them out yourself, I'm not a huge fan of that. But in terms of the functionality, you know, they work really well. The, the, the batteries and the quality of all the through night um, products is always really, really high. So I don't think that there are junk batteries in here. They're probably going to last years and years and years. But I do see that as a downside, that like in 10 years from now, when this battery is not what it used to be, I'd like it if I could just swap the thing out. But if that doesn't bother you and you don't even know if you're going to be alive in five years the way the world is going, you know, if you're not concerned with five years from now and you just want a really nice functional flashlight made by a company that really listens to its users and has the integrity to keep coming back, even if someone is uh, being honest about their products, instead of just being all like praise, like, oh yeah, these products are wonderful, you know, um, you know praise be to this company please keep sending me free stuff uh, I, I don't do that and the fact that they still stick around with me even though I'm always hundred percent honest about what I think about their products is testament to the company so if you want to be in business with good people through night seems like a good company with good people and the products are usually really really great like I said there's been a couple that I was like nah I don't know about that but these are pretty good Archer Pro and Archer Mini Merry Christmas you sexy beasts Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe and check out this video over here, which is another flashlight review video. But the reason you want to watch this one is because I think it probably has the funniest opening sequence of any video that I've ever done on my channel. And I think you'll love it.